do a new series. I'll drink co-op with uh, Torchic here. Uh, we should be finishing this game. I went through a lot of effort to find safer work mods for Ronnie, and you will see some of the armor mods later. Um, Torcha can even tell you, like, it, it was a lot of effort to try to find all of these, all of this stuff. It was four and a half. Uh, we are, I am doing a samurai playthrough. I am only allowed to use katana specific. I'm going to use Moonvale katana more specifically almost the entire way through. We are going to be fighting, I believe, all of Remembrance bosses, some of which Torchic has never seen before. Um, also, if you want to know any of the mods that I am using, uh, just ask me in the comments below and I will link it to you so that you can see. Uh, so we're just going to pick new game here. And then Torchic can just go ahead and create your character. Torchic's going to be starting as the Vagabond. By the way, the images that you see here aren't correct. I'm not sure exactly. I'm assuming it's a mod that mixed them up, but Torch is going to be picking Vagabond. This is going to be her first time using a melee class. I normally run katanas anyways, so I'm picking a samurai. Uh, we're just going to name ourselves. Good old hot sauce, you know. Uh, young, our body type isn't going to matter because none in all the armor sets that in our armor progression, we're going to be progressing from Land of the Reeds to Clean Rot once we get to Raya Lucaria. And then f at the end, we're going to be getting Beast Champion armor for Endgame armor. But Samurai, Keepsake, we are going to choose Crimson Amber Medallion most likely. Yeah, we're going to choose Crimson Amber Medallion. Um, I think I can actually just use one of my one of mine. Yeah, I'll just use this one. But yeah, I, we won't be able to see anything anyways. But this is our blue and silver armor. That's not the original coloration for this armor though. And we are going to watch the cutscene. So, just so y'all get a sense of the story. We did get an announcement recently that the mod that um, from software is making good progress on the mod on the next the DLC on the DLC. Was shattered. In our home, across the fog, the lands between. is nowhere to be found. And in the night of the Black Knives, Godwin the Golden was first to perish. And there's Ronnie. This is the one, this is our, who we're samurai for. Demigods all claimed the shards. That's Margot. Right. And there's Mog, Lord of Blood. Taint of their new and that person there is um one of the ends. Triggered the shattering. That's Rykard. And this should be Red Dawn. Here's Melanian Red Dawn. A war. Leading to abandonment by the greater will. Oh, rise now, ye tarnished, ye dead who yet live. The call of long lost grace speaks to us all. Or alone, 
chieftain of the Badlands. Godfrey, also knows Godfrey. The ever brilliant Goldmask. I have no idea who that is. Fear, the deathbed companion. The loathsome Dung Eater. And Sir Gideon Ophnir. The all-knowing. I gotta be honest here, that I gotta be I just gotta be perfectly honest. Oh, okay, so it's not done. Whom Grace would again bless. That is us. A tarnished of no renown. Cross the fog to the lands between. By the way, you can only mod the PC version of Elden Ring. Uh, in order to mod it on PS5, you have to jailbreak it, and Elden that is extremely risky to do, and I do not recommend it. That being said, I have nothing, I have no mods on that in that change gameplay in any way. Besides the seamless co-op. Pretty, also I'm playing on controller, so I'm not using the exact button prompts that they're showing. Which, if you're playing this game, I heavily recommend that you do, that you use. This is our maiden, but I heavily recommend that you use controller, don't use mouse and keyboard, honestly. I gotta be honest, in terms of intro scenes, it's probably one of the worst. Bloodborne had a pretty good one, because it's all just paintings, and they kind of just shout names at you at the end. Um, Dark Souls 3 is probably my favorite intro little scene because you see 3D images of like Yorm the Giant, Abyss Watchers, and everything. Um, and we do have to clear the tutorial. Torchic, have you loaded in yet? I'm not able to hear you. No. I'll say, looks like we got some settings to figure out. You can afford to speak a little louder, though. Unless you hear yourself. I, I, I can't tell if I'm hearing myself in the Discord or if I'm hearing yourself from your side of the thing. You shouldn't be hearing me from either. Alright, now that we've sort of fixed those technical issues, uh, we're just gonna, we're gonna get past the tutorial section and then Torchic will be joining us. What am I doing? A 70? Let me see what you're doing. God, this is, this is so slow. By the way, try not to speak too terribly loud. If y'all hear both of us, it's because we're kind of close to each other, even though I've set up a little bit of a barrier. There's not a barrier between us. I feel very separated. Also, I don't know why her mic sounds like that, but we'll have to deal with it for now. I unequipped those because, um... My quality. Oh, because of my quality, I'm going to need Torchic to grab that, since oh, no. we'll fight the tutorial boss here while she's doing that. You are not supposed to win this fight. And if you win, there's nothing good for you. So we're just going to go ham. Oh, we stance broke him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, we're not supposed to win that fight, but I almost just won. I almost just beat the tutorial fight that we're supposed to lose to. Nice. All that happens is once you've killed that boss, you have to go back up and jump off. So there's not, there's really nothing special there for you. I'm gonna skip this, but it's not a major cutscene. We just fell down. A, we just fell into this tutorial area, so you're not missing anything important there. And I guess I'll show you the tutorial. Torchic, you don't need to complete the, the tutorial. Um, the text is weird. The text is weird. It means one of the mods is probably not working properly. 
properly. For me, it is triangle because I'm on a PlayStation controller. I keep forgetting that uh, because I've been playing Lords of the Fallen recently, and the control scheme is pretty deep. It's very different. Gonna hop down here. We don't need to use an item. These are gray sites here. Which these let you rest here. We're not gonna rest here. Slice. Uh, we don't guard. <laughs> don't ever. I pretty much will not have a shield. I won't have a shield equipped this whole entire time. Unless there's a shield that uh, gives runes, I will not ever have a shield equipped. <laughs> and the item that gives you extra runes is called the Golden Scarab. What's up there? Okay. For them, we want to do jump attacks. So try to break his posture right there. And the Uchi Katana, which is this weapon, it deals bleed damage, so it can do massive chunks of damage. If I'm being perfectly honest, Uchi Katana is the best art weapon by far. Not even close. Even though we have a bow, we're not going to use it. Are we gonna crouch? Absolutely not. We're just gonna continue to go ham. <laughs> I'm just just smacking enemies. Stance breaking. We're not gonna worry about currently. Um, I'm gonna show you good stance breaking tech with uh, Moon Veil. Take a Marika. Those are revived, but also those control summons as well. Oh, I jumped. Okay. Soldier of Godric. We're really gonna be dodging. Bada bing, bada boom. Easy peasy lemon squeezing. We chose the crimson amber, the crimson amber medallion, because it raises our max HP. So, Ugh, I keep forgetting. Oh, I just got an emo for that. Okay. Let's open up these doors. I don't believe we have an M key on us. Um, I wouldn't suggest using it here. This unlocks a chariot area, and it's nothing worth, so, unless you're looking for a sp very specific item. Okay, um, okay. I want the summoning on this side. Opening world to the wanderers, and... Don't need this one. Torch is the one that will need that. Torch is going to be joining our world. And Torch will be able to do whatever she wants on her world. Looks like we have a mustache. Oh, it's not a mustache. Touched Grace. And we don't need to memorize the spell or anything like that. Oh yes. Tarnished, are we? 
come to the lands oh we can't do messed um we can't actually do his quest we can't do his quest so we're gonna have to ignore that all right torch i'm gonna open up my world okay i'm doing the tutorial all right it is open okay we're gonna collect this these effigies we're also not going to use. Also, so the plane currently... Oh, we, are, we have a fraction of map discovered. Pretty much for early game. Um, our torture's going to need to decide what weapon she truly wants to go with. Um, and she's going to have to get those on her own. There's only two quests that we are going to do actively do. Alexander's quest we're going to do, which you'll meet later on. Also, we're going to be doing um, Ronnie's quest line, as well through its entirety. And also, we're going to be starting Mil Millis M Millicent's quest, Blade of Melania or something, whatever her name is, um, to get the Dexterity Talisman, which will be very good for us. But while we wait for a Torchic, we don't have Torrent yet. We won't unlock Torrent for a little bit. But we, we're going to go grab a Torrent here. But we're just going to run across here. Try to avoid him as much as possible due to he's definitely going to uh, ruin the day. Let's touch Grace. And we can pick this up. Which we can't exactly strengthen it, so. Purchase. He doesn't have anything particularly useful besides maybe a crafting kit, but I don't, you don't really need a crafting kit until later, much later. Much, much later. Goodbye. Also, don't worry about smithing stones too much. I will, don't worry, you'll be seeing all of the smithstone bell bearing locations, um, including all of, well, you'll be seeing the cyber smithing stone and that sort of stuff, but. Also, for this build, for early game, I will. We don't unlock our second pouch until Margot the Fell Omen, right? And the second one is from Radon, the third from Manal, and I believe the fourth is from Godfrey? The first Elderland, or either that or the second time we fight Margot. I forget. Alright, just waiting for our torture to hop in here. It's just loading. It's taking a hot second. Aha! I have no idea. But there we are. Hello. Crap, you're not modded for me. Okay. She has an armor set that looks particular for her, but I don't have it updated. Hey! But we're just going to go to the next bonfire, and there will be a little jump cut, because that'll be it for the day. But... Alright, time to journey on. I think we'll fight Patches real quick as well. Patches! I miss Torrent. Where's my boy? We won't get him until Stormvale, but Turtle! Turtle, say hello oh, to the turtle. Hello. Turtle gang. Turtle gang. Hello, beans. It's unfortunately not uh, Turtle Pope, but it's good enough. Indeed. Or right, we'll see. We'll meet Turtle Pope eventually. Uh, let's avoid him. Oh. We don't have summon. We won't be able to summon until we've met Ronnie for the first time. Just touch Grace. Don't bother interacting with it. 
we do have wolves here. Also in co-op, things aren't necessarily easier. Enemies uh, have more health to compensate for the extra people. Oh, this is I remember you. Okay, so they have two. Okay, I got cracked by. Jesus. Uh, because you are two-handing. You need, yeah, there you are. And you can block oh, with yeah, the left bumper. The also, parrying is L2. I don't do that, though. So if you're looking for parry help, I'm not your guy. <laughs> he hates parry with the passion. If that's done correctly, a Bloodborne parrying is fantastic, but I'm not a huge fan of shield parrying. Oh, we traded. Okay. We'll trade in terms of kills. Uh, you'll want to heal up fully. Beast man of Farmazula. I don't know how. Okay. Also, jump attacks do the most amount of poise. There you are. Ooh, look at that damage. And then we just wail on him. Hit him, hit him. Nice. Pew. Flying direct house wins, which we won't need for a while. But patches should be here now. Oh, I think we have to come back here. Oh, I think I know what you're trying to do. Yeah, I think we do have to come back later. We'll come back later. I'm not going to go to the entrance. I can just run back there. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna use this thing because that's it's too dark. I don't know where my torch is. There was no torch. Well, there are torches, but. I was gonna say. Is this a false? Is this a false door? No. Okay. All right, and I'm also gonna rest at the gray side here. You go ahead and rest as well. My armor looks so clean. I don't know how I feel about my armor. I'll, don't worry, guys. I'll I, when y'all in the cut up here, uh, y'all see her armor as as it's modded. Keep in mind, these are all temporary until clean rot, and clean rot is going to carry for the majority of the game. We're going to go all the way around here. We're getting this gray side up here. You're so fast. I mean, I have medium um, encumbrance, so. I think I just started before you. Don't you dare. I want to sit next to you. Oh, okay. Oh, a cutscene. Torture, do you see my armor or no? No. No. There is a Melina. Greetings, traveler from beyond the fog. I am Melina. Offer you an accord.
this is where sometimes things are bugged. Oh, I have to wait for Torch to finish her little cutscene, I'm pretty sure. Yay, I have Torch. A sweet baby boy. I, I am bugged. Alright, we are back. Fingers. They serve the two fingers, but you, I am afraid, are maidenless. We are not about to be maidenless for long. I can play the role of maiden. Uh. Turning wounds into strength to aid you, if you need only to, to the foot of the We'll accept it for now because we have to. Summon me what? by grace to turn wounds um, into strength. How, how did you um, tie the ah, reed to summon torrent to matter. Um, the, the command to instead of having to go to the menu? Oh, uh, summon a torrent test. Treat him with respect. Shall I turn? Let my hand share them with thee. Okay, uh, the figure's gonna be most important here, so Your we'll upgrade the figure. Um, you go to your pouch, and then you just hit triangle, and then go over to torrent, and then hit X. If I don't have my controller. Oh, then I can't help you. I'm not helping. Also, I would suggest getting a controller. I don't know where the cord There's is. There's literally to... one in your pouch. That is the switch controller. It's not what I'm up, but okay. Alright, we're gonna do some sneak in here. Sneak it. We're gonna sneak up on this guard right here. Beautiful. Now we can just hop up here, collect this item. We're of course not gonna use it. We're grabbing materials to, to sell. Here, but we're kind of going to stay crouched. All right, we can we can do this real quick. Beautiful. Beautiful. Also, these skulls we can roll over to pick up a uh, golden rune. I just hop up here, open this up. A flail, which we don't need, but again, selling materials. It's night. Let's go back to Church of Ella. This way's tarnished. Oh, Iran is here. Yes, you may, Ronnie. Hello, everyone. Uh, this is editing me here. Um, so, so a couple of things I do want to mention. Ronnie's quest here is a little bit bugged. If the second you go into Seamless Co-op, she ceases to work. So, I had attempted to have Torchic, I attempted to have the both of us get the summoning thing at the same time. By the way, if you do not interact with Ronnie here, I'll also try to explain quest steps that where you can find different characters that I see. So if you get if you happen to ride pad, there's a little shortcut that you can bypass Mark of the Fell Omen and Godric the Grafted at. 
if you bypass that, you won't actually be able to summon until you get to Ronnie. Like, in two or at, like, actual quest line, I'm pretty No, actually, I believe it spawns at the round table hold, of which you'll see how you get there later on. This is also the same on how to get spirit summon, how to upgrade your spirit summons in the same way. We do Roderick's quest later on as well. But I attempted to get Torchix, I attempted to have, get both of us the summoning at the same time. However, it just doesn't work in co-op, so we won't be summoning for quite a while. And also, we kind of, we do a quest a little bit later on, so it'll be skipped. Alright, and then I'm loaded in. I'm gonna grab this map. There's the map. All right, let's go. If you get the cutscene, skip it. Hey, let's go. Oh Fuck. my god. Uh, I can't remember the fucking sprint. Circle. this golden seed up here and gray shite should be up here somewhere Stone Sword Key, which is good. And we do need to talk to Roderico here. They crossed the sea for me. They fought for me. Only to have their arms taken. Their legs taken. Even their heads taken. Taken and stuck to the spider. Did you know if you're grafted by the spider? You become a chrysalid. It's quite a lark when you think about it. You're all on your own, are you? And heading to Stormvale. Enticed by the one in the white mask, I suppose. Not really. Oh, wow, that makes us two peas in a pod. But I don't have your courage. It's scary, you know, having your arms. I want to be like everyone else, but I'm just too scared. I'm nothing but a craven. Oh, can you take this? Okay, there she gave us a spirit ash. Which we can't summon spirits until we've gone to uh, storm until we've died. We're gone to round table hold. Alright. Alright. Oh, crap. Time to ride and get our first death. Special wars and that important, so Sorcerer's ready. We're gonna show the next boss here, and once we get to round table hold, we'll go do and we'll set up the first stage of our build, well, of my build. Oh, we have a summon here. Might as well. We're not gonna be able to beat this first try, but I hate this already. I don't. I miss my magic.
Probably doing most of the carrying anyways. Oh, my armor looks so good. All I see is a samurai. <laughs> Emboldened by the flame of ambition. Again, we're not really going to be winning this. We're going to try to break his stance. Broke a stance. Let's go. No way we beat this dude. I'm dead. Ooh, I broke a stance. Ooh, I got bleed too. Oh, I might be dead. I'm, I'm dead. Oof. No. Oh, his stance is broken. Uh, so, you're probably able to tell anyways with the fucking echo chamber I seem to be in. So, a couple things to note here. Again, I'm going to point out, you do have to die to Margaret the Omen, or I believe in order to unlock access to Roundtable Hold. Also, keep in mind, in co-op mode, the boss's health are increased for every person that is there. I believe this in this mod you can have up to four people. Um, however, in this mod, it's just me and Torchic. So... Both of us here are, like, we're doing a lot of damage to him, which is also kind of surprising. Uh, Social Sorcerer Roger has also been in a lot of work, so that's why, again, I'll mention this again later, but these early game bosses are going to seem easier than what they are due to, at this point, I am a soul spent. Kind of being the Demon Souls remake, Dark Souls 1 remastered, Dark Souls 3... I have Bloodborne Platinumed, so, and I've beaten Elden Ring several times on PS5 and um, on PC as well. I have about 150-ish hours in Elden Ring in total so far, I think. It's 100, it's about 100 hours on PS5, and I think it's only about 50 on PC. But, so, now that we have access to Roundtable, now that we're going to be getting access to Roundtable Hold, we're gonna go there, do some leveling up, talk to some NPCs or whatever. The first item for this first build, for our first build setup, is going to be the green turtle talisman. All right, your turn. You do cut your cutscene. Hello, my gothic queen. All right, where is it gonna be? Okay. 
Judge Gideon off here. Here's a blacksmith, but we don't need him currently. And there's Fia, but we don't need her either. Are you here? There's nothing here for us, so let's go. We're gonna take on the boat guy. No, we're too weak. Aw. Unfortunately. Get off. Over there. We had to use a stone M key. A stone sword key, which I have one. Hey, turtle. Hello, turtles. A turtle sanctuary. You're so cute. Stuff will be useful once we have an extra pouch, but for now, we can't really use it very well. Okay. Alrighty, and now that we've grabbed the Turtle Talisman, uh, we are grabbing the Wondrous Psych, which you will want to grab before really truly fighting Margaret the Fell Omen. This is also how you get one of the Crystal Tears as well. I'm not going to show all of them, I'm only going to show the ones that I use for endgame. Uh, but also we are here because there's a portal nearby of which I will see that will take us to one a close checkpoint to Radagon Sorcerer, which we are going to be using for early game and two uh, There is a dragon that you can kill there even though uh, we ran into a bug, <laughs> but y'all see that Are you ready for an extra something? I'm mixing my flasks real quick. Alright. Once you're ready, just come over to me. Because now it's time to teleport. Oh god, where are you? Behind the church. Why are you behind the church? This should ring a bell. Oh no, it's this thing. Examine and travel. Oh no. This thing never goes well. Yeah, it'll be fine. Yeah, I flashback. This is where we are. <laughs> Gale's Dragon Barrow. Also be careful. I'll understand in due time. I don't like that answer. That's a fair This is gonna be answer. this is gonna be really tough. Oh no. What is this? Okay, go ahead and collect your bracelet. We're not gonna this is a beast, beast clergyman, but we're not doing his quest. And once you're ready, get on your hop on your steed. Cause it's time to run. Oh, it's these things. Nope, 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 nope. Big bells, nope. There Hear it, but I don't. What are you looking for? We gotta bully it into submission. We we use stance broke it. We stance broke it again. How did you be stance broken? Apparently, I didn't know that. 
It's running for a sad feature. I don't know. Why did he need a stun dog? Is he a secret boss? I don't know. Really I'm assuming it's because we deal so little damage. <laughs> we need to get rid of that Night Calvary. Oh, that's a dragon. Never mind. You might be fine. That Somber Smith of Stone 9 will come into play later. Hello. Alright, ready to ride past the dragon? Oh, no. Try to avoid hitting it. Now what if I want to? What if I just think he's right in the needle there? Probably, 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 probably. The inside game. Here's what kind of sounds like Slave Not Gales. <laughs> okay, we should be cutting. Closer. Okay, that's the air tree. Yeah, we're getting close. Still yeah. Um. Yep. Hug this. Hug this left wall over here. This left cliff side. Because we're trying not to aggro the air tree that's here. Because that air tree is way too strong for us currently. Oh god. Oh, watch! Watch! There's a hole there. Oh, hello, Hulk. Wee. We do need a gold pickle. We need a gold pickle foul foot, though, at some point. I guess you can see that's pretty foul of you. Oh my god. Now you should recognize this. You should recognize this at the very least. No. Please, god, no. Babe, we're under level. Babe, please. Please. Please, please, I'm you. I'm giving this two attempts. I, I, I get the medallion. Hug the left side. That's not aggro. I never mind the aggro. Guess what's down below? Oh, yes, we didn't get poison. That's good. Yeah, the rat there is kind of... We might have to come back later for it. Can you need to reset? Can you need to reset? Yeah, go ahead and reset. Reset. I'm on it. Did it work? Yes. Reset again. I got a dragon heart somehow. Oh. I got it. Um, I can just die now. Giant rat can't one shot me. <laughs> oh, you reset it. Uh, but I'm disoriented. Okay. You're, you're heading to the right, right? You're heading the right, right? Alright, I got Radagon Sword Seal. Awesome. Babe, oh. Babe? Babe, I. Look at me, look at me, look at me, game. I have a lot of runes. Yep, yep, yep. No, 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 babe. Look at me. Yeah. And then look at the scenery. What is missing? What I know the dragon is missing. Scenery, I know the dragon is missing. How did we, how did yeah. the dra dragon die? <laughs> Why is it every time we come <sighs> here? We don't even have to fight the dragon. I guess he rapidly, okay. Okay. This is the glitch. That's so weird. <laughs> okay, well, we have a lot of runes to work with, so that dragon, under normal circumstances, you can kill that dragon with any bleed weapon, 
crouch it behind it, but uh, we just killed it by despawning and spawning it, I guess? <laughs> I have the floating hot sauce glitch. Of course. So I guess I don't know, if you hop on a, if you're playing co-op and the other person hops onto their torrent before you load in, it, the other person's invisible. Go on behind here, because I'm pretty sure there is a... I thought there was a thing back here for flasks? Isn't there a bear over here? Yeah, there is. Of which, by the way, we need to go towards. There's map fragment. Now we're gonna go kind of straight towards the um, ashes here. The noble sorcerer ashes here. Because that's the one that we're gonna need for with this task. We might have to force it to unlock though. I'm guessing that's... Bruh! I'm stuck! Alright, there we are. It should be around I here somewhere. Brownie. How do you summon in the game? Because it's been a while since I've played Elden Ring. Kind of hard to explain, but you have to uh, you have to have the summon and attach it to a specific button bind. Doesn't take that much to Okay. And in here should be the noble sorcerer of ashes. Ah that someone's both of them. Pull the lever. Be back up at the gray side. I'm already here. collected Ronnie's the I have to summon to summon both of them I'm only summoning Ronnie that is the move for me okay is this the weird cat one I think so yes you 
this so much better with magic. Ah. Oh. It's finished putting fire. I know. Stunned it. Ow. Ooh. Ow. Oh, we got it. Oh, my God. There, I got the Ronnie summon now. There we are. I have the Ronnie summon now. Let's go. Uh, let's just return entrance. And the only rule is if she dies, we have to commit seppuku. Or seppuku. Whatever. I'm just waiting for torture to load in here. Oh, never mind. You're here. Well. I don't think I'm gonna summon Ronnie here. I don't wanna risk her death. So it's Rogier. Oh, let's traverse the mist. I unequipped my sword. <laughs> That's the first thing I did. So proud. I'm trying to stun him as fast as possible. Okay, we're increasing our strength here. Oh, I stunned him. Ooh. Ah. Oh. Got him. Let's go. In the future, we probably won't be using NPC summons. Like child, Let's go. And yes, we got another talisman pouch. I'm going to put it into the green turtle talisman. That's what I'm going to use. You know the first thing we're gonna do is right, let's go. I decided to have him. Do I have an NPC fight up here, so be aware? Oh no. Rather, I'm not sure if we're actually gonna be able to beat the boss to get Moon Veil, but we'll have to hope for the best. Touched Grace. Okay, and arrested. Let's go. Oh, she's here. Whoa! 
I'm dead. I'm glad I rested there. <laughs> also, this is my first death, so yes, a death screen does say fuck you. <laughs> Alright, follow me. Democrat Moon Veil. Drawstring Lightning Breeze. Interesting. Crap, I should have maybe gotten Bloody Slash just in case. <gasps> oh, I know what, what we're doing. I like this place. I can't do Ashes of War yet. Huh. Alright, let's go. We're gonna have to go the long way around. Where are you going? I'm going the long way around to it. Mask why? Safety. Okay, I'll join you. Everything will be chasing me by the time you get here. There's also a gray side here, so just might as well. Oh, nice. There's a talk right there. Uh. Oh, no, he's gone. All right, let's go this way. Is there really a path over there? Probably. We're just gonna go straight in here. Backstab! Ooh, let's go. Okay, we gotta be careful here. So we're gonna grab our smithy stone. Yep. Wish I will actually need some smithing stone. One. I did not. Oh! I did not... oh. Bro! I didn't jump far enough. I didn't jump at all, to be honest. You're supposed to go. You silly thing. Damn, son. I'm kind of just waiting for you to load in. Oh, you spawned somewhere else. Never mind. Just meet me there. I know. I might have a dog chasing me. That's okay. And a bird, too. I am not looking behind. I have the save of the century. Just lagging just a little bit. Oh my god. <sighs> I almost died. Are you dead? Why aren't 
you helping me? I was trying to- I was stuck in the corner! I was literally charging up a right attack. I was literally charging up an R2. You cannot blame me for this. Oh, you're not down here? I get to touch Grace. No, you're touching Grace. I said I was touching Grace. Which direction it's in. Why'd I jump? <gasps> Alexander's here. What? Bo? Not right now. Alexander is here. Not right now. Not right now. Not right now. I'm trying to live. Alexander, what are you doing here, buddy? I know. I know, B. But let me live. I'm trying to get to the Grace Point. Motherfucker! Motherfucker! I'm talking to Alexander. Where did you spring from? This was supposed to be a dead end, I'm sure of it. I'm going What's going on here? My soul. A door from thin air. I love well, Alexander. Stranger things happen. I didn't know you could find him here. Told, but onward I shall go. I am the she's going to one way. I am Fist Alexander. I was heading to Redmain Castle on the southern oh, edge of the starlit rot blighted you know, Kingdom Wild. Just fanboy over his is favorite being boy. Held. Yes. Dead end. <laughs> I didn't know he could be Next found here. I set off to the festival at Dazen Vethel. This makes Hotos very happy. Okay, a couple of things I do need to mention here. First of all, um, this is going to be a failed attempt to get Moon Veil. You do need to beat that Magma Worm in order to get the Moon Veil Katana. Um, also, some other things I do want to mention. Alexander can actually be found in... He can be found first in three separate locations. He can be found right near Stormhill Shack. However, you do have to unstick him. I usually skip that one due to it's rough. Uh, and it's, if you accidentally kill him, it's over. Also, something to note. I'll see y'all going to be seeing an issue with co-op. And you'll be seeing some buggy stuff in the background, but that's fine. Um, also, he can spawn there. If you find him there, and also if you go to Radon before I before going to either of those two locations pre that I previously mentioned, he will spawn there first, and you can talk to him after you've been Radon. Radon is a required step, not just for uh, Alexander's quest, but also for Ronnie's quest line as well. Radon is a required boss, and Alexander finishing his quest does drop a really strong item for if you are using a weapon. So yeah. Oh, I'm not technically able to wield it without Radagon Sword Seal anyways. Who else wants to Golden Seed here? a little bit. Did you go to the top of the building? Yeah, the ladder. Oh, that was a Dectus medallion left.
Oh my god, got him. You should have gotten that the Ash of War. And make sure you collect the Dectus medallion. Perfect. I just want you to know this technically means we can skip all the way to the Draconic Tree Sentinel. Are we going to do that? Nope. No. Give me your splash. Just to give you all at home an idea how far along that is, it's about halfway through the game. Oh, we can fast travel. Never mind. Well, that's the ability, the ability to do that. Now I can fast travel. Fort Height West. Ah. Can you not fast travel? No, I can't anymore. Go, go. Ah. All right, now let's go. Eventually we'll start equipping Ashes of War and whatnot. That'll, that'll we'll probably do it this episode if it's a little bit. I don't. We'll see if there's more added to it. See how long things are. But uh, we'll uh, catch y'all on the next part. <laughs>